if you want to back up your GarageBand projects and not use iCloud Drive, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, you can, of course, just use your iCloud Drive and it will automatically back up all your stuff. So here in the iPad or the iPhone, there's two storage locations. One is on my iPad and one is iCloud Drive. Now, anything stored on my iPad here in the GarageBand for iOS folder is not getting backed up anywhere. So I strongly advise against using that one. I would advise you use this, the iCloud Drive folder. Anything here in your GarageBand for iOS folder will get backed up. However, that's gonna fill up your iCloud Drive pretty quickly. Now there's options such as the one I use, which is able to upgrade to two terabytes of storage. So all of my files are all stored there. But if you don't have that and you've got limited space, how do you make sure you can back up your files somewhere else? Here's the trick. Unfortunately, GarageBand's GarageBand.band folder uh, file structure is not compatible with things like Google Drive or Dropbox or any of the other cloud storage platforms. It works on our cloud drive, but if you want to use OneDrive, guess what? You are SOL, which as we know means sort of out of luck. But there is a workaround that we can actually use here, and that is to zip up our file. So what I'm in here is I'm in the Files app. Now, the biggest mistake I see folks make is that they go to GarageBand here, and they want to try and do it from here, and they're going to go, all right, I'll go in here, I'll do what Pete says. Where's, where's my zip? I don't have the option to zip. I can't compress the file. Well, that's because you're in GarageBand. If you go out and go into your Files app, this one here, then you can do it from here. So what do we need to do? Well, to compress the file, we need to tap and hold on it. And then down the very bottom here, there is Compress. Now there's another option here where we can tap the Select button and we can select a file or multiple files if we wanna compress, say, two different files together. So if I wanted to compress every version of this song, so you can see here I've got 19 versions because I've been creating this song throughout the month. I've got 19 different versions. If I wanted all of those in the one zip file that I can then have a backup of everything, I would do that. But for, for our sake here, we're just gonna do one. So we'll select that one. In the bottom right, there's a more button. We're gonna tap that and we're gonna hit compress. And what that's gonna do is it's going to zip up that .band project, 291 megabytes of it, and it's going to compress it into a zip file. Now, because it's already using audio, it's not gonna make it super small, but that's not really the point here. There you go, it's, it's still the same size. It's only compressed about 40, 40 megabytes of it. So, but the point here is for us to be able to then transfer this somewhere else. Now, the you would think the easy way to do this would be to have your different file structures over here. So for instance, I've got Google Drive over here. You can do the same with OneDrive. You can do the same with Dropbox. They're all here and you can just paste straight in here. So if I wanted to go in and just copy that, I technically can come over here to my, on my, uh, sorry, my iCloud Drive and go to that Song Timber folder, and grab this file and drag it on across and say, I would like this in my Google Drive now, please. And release it and it's gonna copy it across. Now that works okay sometimes, but as you can see there, it gets a little bit clunky and you don't really know, is it uploading, is it doing it, is it not? So my recommendation is to actually use the native app. So if you're on Dropbox, use the Dropbox app. If you're on OneDrive, use the OneDrive app. Use whatever the app is. So if we go here and we'll search for it, so we'll scroll down and we'll just go Drive because I know it's Google Drive, there it is. So if you're on OneDrive or Dropbox, you use the exact same process. We load up the actual drive here. Now what I can do is I can come in here and we can actually upload it. And the reason I wanna do this is that I'm gonna actually make this accessible and my patrons are gonna get it today. If you're not a, a member of Patreon here, I will open up access for everyone in about a week's time. But there you go, another incentive to become a patron because I'm gonna let you folks have access to the complete track of uh, my GarageBand project for my song. Timber song. So what I would want to do here is probably create a new folder to start with. So we'll click there, we'll go new folder, and we'll call it Song Timber 2021. And we're going to create that. So we've created the folder there, and then we'll go into that folder. It's empty at the moment. We'll hit the plus button again, which has just moved, and we'll upload. We want to browse and then we wanna go and find that. So we know where we saved it. It was here in iCloud Drive. It was under GarageBand for iOS, under Songtember, and there it is. There's our zip file. So here you can see we get an actual progress bar, and it will actually show you that that is uploading. So once this is done, guess what? That's saved there. And then we can delete it from everything. Why is this so, so handy? Well, the problem is, uh, we'll let that go in the background. The problem is that using the Files app here and using iCloud Drive, 
If I delete something from my device, it goes away from iCloud Drive as well. iCloud Drive is a weird thing in that if you have it synced with your devices, as soon as you delete something, it deletes it. It's a bit of a flaw in my opinion, but you can work around it because if you use Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive or whatever else, you can just zip up your stuff and then save yourself a copy over there. And then it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you accidentally delete it from your iCloud Drive. If you need space on your devices, if you need more space on our iCloud Drive, you can offload it. And of course, guess what? You can use this to actually send it off to another device. So if we use something like the Wi-Fi drive here in AudioShare, guess what? We can use this to actually transfer those files to our Mac or our PC. So you can just go to a web browser, type in that address, and you can download those directly. And then you can save them to your, your backup drives, save them to your flash drives, save them to your local hard drives. It's a very cool way to back up your GarageBand projects. Let's go back to Drive and see how we're going. <coughs> no thanks, we don't need the new drive widget. So there it is. It is uh, uploading there, and once that's done, it'll be good to go. And uh, here's one I prepared earlier, just to show you what, you what we could then do with it while that's still uploading. So if we come in here to say murdering time, this is what I did with the previous one. And what we can do from here, you can see it's already shared, but you can come in here and you can share these files. So I can basically say, look, everyone has access to that one. Anyone who has that link can come in here and download that zip file.